Hey everyone, I'm Steve Klemkin, Storm's Technical Director, and welcome to Brigham City, Utah. Now, if you're like a lot of people, you're probably wondering what exactly goes into the development and production of a Storm bowling ball. What makes them hook so much on the back end? What makes them do the things that they do on the lane? Well, let's take a little closer look here inside Storm headquarters. Now, there's three very important items to consider when you're looking at ball motion or ball reaction. Number one, the interior of the ball the weight block or the core. So this dense inner part, this orange part you see on our booster core on the rocket, this is actually the weight block. That white material that goes around the weight block is called core material. Number two, you'll want to consider the cover stock or the shell. And then three, you'll want to consider the finish. Is it polished? Is it a very dull finish, a matte finish? Or is it maybe somewhere in between? So when we're looking at superior performance and ball reaction, we're talking about balancing those three items. If you get too much core, not enough cover stock, or let's say you get too much finish and not enough shell material, you're not going to get the optimum ball reaction that you're looking for. All right, well, what we're going to try and show you here now is we've got three different rockets. You can see they look pretty similar, but you can actually notice if you look closely, we have three different colored finger grips, and this is going to, de going to denote a little bit of a difference in some component of the ball. So, Justin, why don't you tell us what you have going here? Um, I have the ball with the white, the white uh, inserts. Um, this ball actually has the booster core, which is in the rocket, uh, but the cover stock is actually a much milder, less reactive cover stock. So you can tell at the very last end of the lane, it doesn't actually come back into the pins like it should. With that aggressive core, it should actually bite a lot harder. Um, what's going on there is the cover stock being less porous and with a lot less friction in it, it's just going to keep sliding. Um, that's mainly because of as the ball gets older, uh, the pores start to build up with dirt and oil and due to la lack of maintenance, um, a lot of people might actually see this reaction in their own ball, um, which would probably be a good indicator to you know, upgrade and get a new ball. Max, your ball has the orange grips it looks like? Yep, orange grips. What we have here, we have the actual R2S cover stock, which will be coming out on the rocket, but we have an entry level core, which is a lot milder, and we'll see how that performs against the rocket. As we watch the ball with the orange grips, it rolls a lot the same as the ball with the white grips, but it's for a totally different reason. What we have on that is we have the good aggressive cover stock, the R2S. The entry level core in there holds that ball so that it's more stable and you don't get the potential that the cover stock can offer. All right, and I have the ball I'm holding, the rocket here has the black grips and you can see with the black grips here, this is actually what we're going to be bringing to the marketplace. It has the proper shell, the R2S hybrid shell, and it's finished to 1500 grit polished, and it also has the booster core. So when we hit the lanes here, you'll be able to see the difference in ball motion. Many of you are already familiar with the Thunderline. Think High Road. Well, the rocket complements both the Crux Pearl and the High Road as it has an aggressive motion on the back end, but as compared to the high road, the rocket creates a little bit more mid-lane read. As we slow these three shots down, notice that all three balls will cross the exact same target at the arrows. But as you can see, only one creates that amazing ball motion we're all looking for. What a difference! You can really see how important it is to have the proper balance of cover stock and core in your bowling ball. And as you watch the rocket go down the lane, you can notice that it's a perfect balance of power and control. It glides easily through the heads, picks up strong in the mid lane, and finishes hard through the pocket. Thanks for your interest in Storm. We really appreciate your support. So make sure you visit your local Storm VIP Pro Shop soon and reserve your new rocket today. Okay. You probably need to put that mic to your face. Not that much. <laughs> <laughs> there you go, that's a good start right there. You, to, you know, not just Steve Clinton. You gotta get the real deal. <laughs> Balancing those three items is the key part to obtaining 
to a b -b 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 -b. If the core design has this white, ah, shit, see, that's a core design. This ball with the orange pin has. Okay, let's shoot it over again, actually. What a difference. <laughs> what a difference. You can easily see how important it is. Okay, three, two. All right, everybody. I want to make sure that you remember to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel, all right? But there's one last very important message, something that you have to remember. It's part of being with the Storm Nation. So what do we have to remember, guys? Hashtag Storm Nation. That's Hashtag right. Hashtag Storm Nation. Hashtag Storm Nation. Hashtag Storm Nation. Hashtag Storm Nation. And I'm out. <laughs>